Chadwick, last but not least, your brilliant book, Tucker, about America's most famous political broadcaster, Tucker Carlson, is winning rave reviews. It's sold brilliantly well. Given Tucker's huge digital footprint and headline-grabbing interviews, including an unprecedented two hours with Vladimir Putin, does Tucker's departure from Fox News now look like a blessing in disguise? Well, yeah, in a way, you know, he, I think we're still sort of feeling it out. Uh, he's, I think one of the, the, one of the reasons why his departure from Fox felt like a death for so many people mm -hmm. was that when he was on Fox, he at least had the ear of our leaders. Our leaders tend to not care what people are doing on the internet. They don't care about alternative media. They're very vain people. They're very much a part of the prestige economy. And even though not that many people watch Fox News compared to the people who are seeing Tucker's show, our leaders deeply care about what happens on Fox News. So in that respect, I think that, that it is still a loss uh, because it was the Republican establishment who feared Tucker Carlson when he was on Fox News. The liberals hated him for obvious reasons. Um, but now that he's on social media, he's, he's certainly unbound. He's, he's, uh, we're seeing a much freer side of Tucker Carlson. He's really not afraid to associate with people who Fox would never allow him to have on the network before. Uh, I believe just after the State of the Union address, he was sitting down with Alex Jones for a really entertaining conversation. Uh, but his, his success on, on uh, away from Fox on social media, he's got videos getting hundreds of millions of views, which is, uh, you know, unprecedented. He's, he's uh, the most successful interview of all, interviewer of all time, according to numbers right now. Uh, but then again, we're still in this murky territory where the legacy establishment media and the new media are still fighting uh, to see who comes out on top. Can Tucker afford to stay off regular television? Is he making money now? Is this a business model, what he's currently doing? Well, the last time he was fired from a cable news network, which was CNN, he started The Daily Caller, which is a website that mm. was profitable within two months after he started it. So uh, he's teamed up with the same person, Neil Patel, who's his college roommate, that, uh, to start this new network, okay. the Tucker Carlson network that he did with The Daily Caller. Neil's a great business guy. I got to interview him for the book. He's, again, Tucker's best friend. So, you know, Neil, I think with, with, uh, with uh, the business end of it in Neil's hands and Tucker on the creative end of it, they seem to, to know what they're doing, especially since they've done this before. Uh, but uh, then again, you know, as far as I understand, Tucker's still under contract at Fox News. So I don't think right now he's worried about uh, turning a profit. He's still getting a paycheck from Fox. But, um, you know, the, they launched a subscriber model. Uh, they've had many, many subscribers. I'm not sure of the exact number right now. Uh, and uh, I think it's showing that as people tune out of, of cable networks like Fox, they still want to spend money on content and they want to support content creators over networks. Well, I think he's doing a brilliant job and proving the doubters wrong. Uh, last but not least, briefly, if you can, Tucker is not just the subject of your brilliant biography. He's also a friend of yours. How's he doing? Is he happy? Yeah, he seems to be really happy. You know, he's got to, and if you follow his content, he's got to travel the world for the last mm. several months interviewing many uh, world leaders and, and uh, uh, political voices from different corners of the globe, uh, which he never really got to do at Fox. He had to work every night of the week. So I know he's really enjoyed that. And he's just all around, as I, as I discovered writing this book, because I got to know him really well, he's a very positive, very happy person. Uh, he's got a very, he's got a joyfulness to him and a, and a wonderful sense of humor. So, you know, I think that he's happy no matter what, as long as he's got his family and as long as he's got his dogs and uh, he can go fishing and uh, do the things that he loves and, and also connect with people and communicate with people. That's really what, what drives him and um, uh, uh, really, really uh, makes him happy. He's, he's a very grounded person. He's not someone with a massive ego. I don't think he necessarily needed to be on television to feel good about himself. Uh, he's got a whole separate personal inner life, which um, is what we all should have to keep us all, keep us all grounded and happy. Most definitely. Don't forget the Daily Sauna as well. Um, Chadwick, always a thrill to have you on the show. We'll catch up soon. Chadwick Moore's fascinating book about Tucker Carlson is called Tucker and it's out now.